Home Depot is not the only stock benefiting from the sharp drop in mortgage rates lately. The 30-year fix is now down more than half a point since cracking 8% a month ago. And my next guest says the decline in rates will lift home builder stocks and squeeze the shorts. Joining me is Ihor Dusanuski. He's managing director and head of predictive analytics at S3 Partners. Igor, it's great to see uh, Igor. And, uh, you know, it, this comes after the, the sad news about Jim Chanos closing up shop. So it's tough for the shorts right. anywhere these days. You think they're going to get burned here? I think so. Uh, we've got a fundamental move on the long side uh, in the home uh, builder sector and a momentum move on the short side, causing short, short squeezes and buy the covers up, which is probably moving prices up, too. So this is a difficult spot for shorts. You know, it, I've uh, read in the past that one of the best little subsectors uh, from the time between the last Fed rate hike and the first cut is often the home builders. But how long can a rally last if we are going into a slowdown? Well, it's, you got to see what the, what's happening with interest rates. As long as there's a shortage in supply and, and home builders are producing uh, sub, uh, stock of producing uh, buildings that are going to be bought, you're going to see a rally in the home building sector. Um, what we're seeing is is the shorts kind of getting in and out of the market as the stock prices are moving up and down. So I think the shorts are going to be in trouble. Although you guys also note there, it's not as though this is a heavily shorted area, is it? That's around $5 billion worth of short interest. It's not the monster. It's not if, uh, a uh, as big as uh, communication services, but it's still a very, very underperforming market on the short side. So it's an important uh, piece of the market to look at. All right. So a bit of a warning there. If you're thinking that this is the time uh, to maybe, you know, bet against the home building sector. Ihor, before I let you go, you mentioned communication services. Where are we seeing the biggest short bets in the market these days? Well, we're seeing you know Netflix uh, shorts kind of uh, bailing out of their trade because it's one of the stocks that are really moving up and have some strength recently. So look at look at some uh, short selling and some of the bigger uh, tech names that are a little bit overbought. But I think there's a lot of uh, people running for, running uh, scared in some of the names that are just skyrocketing and, and they're looking for other areas to short much more like healthcare and. Uh, and uh, the consumer uh, uh, discretionary. Yeah, we'll come back to the weakness in healthcare in just a moment. But I, I am curious, you know, I've heard that short selling has become so hard and so scarce that it's actually cheaper now than, than it traditionally has been to short stocks. Um, just in general, how much has short selling uh, failed in recent years? And do you think Jim Chano's closing up shop is emblematic of that? Well, you know, rising market, shorts are losing money. But really, it's an insurance play. It's a play of, you know, best and worst in breed. You want to go long the best stock, go short the, the, the worst stock, and kind of leverage up your positions. So short selling is really necessary in, uh, in, you know, for hedge funds and for large institutional players. And really, you know, it provides liquidity in the market. And you want to know the stocks that are not just going up, but the ones that are going down. And it gives you great insight into stocks that you really should be wary of.